Cheerleading is not just a fun extra at local sports events, it's a competitive and tough sport. Cheer Factor on the South Shore is a high performance training center for local cheer athletes. They work with local Pop Warner youth programs and train youth for national cheer competitions. They work to build self-confidence, integrity, and honesty, as well as good sportsmanship in their athletes. PCN caught up with a couple of local girls to see what goes into training to be a competitive cheerleader. One, two, one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. The, um, the competition that the girls made it to is called the Summit and that's going to be held in Disney in May and they've worked all year to make it to this prestigious event. So they've gone to about eight competitions and they were lucky enough to be awarded a at-large bid to the cheerleading summit. Um, there'll probably be over 500 teams that will be there. Their team is a junior level one team, a large junior level one team. And in their division right now, I think there's about seven teams that they'll be competing against in Florida. We practice three days a week, and it's just, we have to be work really hard, and we have to work together as a team. But, because it's not like an individual sport, we always have to work as a team. We've worked really hard throughout the year to get to the summit, which is a big competition in Florida. And we've practiced a lot, three days a week, just to get to this comp and be able to perform and hopefully be able to bring home rings and jackets. Tumbling is a big factor in all-star cheerleading and so is stunting and in order for the girls to get and the boys to get good with the stunting and the tumbling um, they need to be very, they need to be physically fit and they need to make sure that they're ma you know, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and all that stuff and most coaches promote that. The toughest thing about training is probably the conditioning that we have to do to get our tumbling better or get our jumps higher and being so clean. But our coach has always been there for us to help us through everything that we do and they're really all great coaches and we couldn't have asked for more. They've worked very, very hard. They practice five and a half hours um, and then another hour for tumbling weekly. And they'll be adding in multiple practices the next couple of weeks um, for to prepare for the summit. family we all laugh there's no crying like we give each other hugs when we're not we don't feel good or I don't know we're just all like sisters together and we all get along really well all together there'll be 32 kids out on that floor competing in Florida and it's gonna be fun <laughs> <laughs>